The decision to remove weather sirens in Houston County remains literally up in the air until later this year. But the possible removal could come with some concern for citizens for those who lack technology. WDHN's Robert Smith with the details. County Commission and EMA officials are contemplating whether or not to join a nationwide trend of removing 33 weather sirens in the county that citizens typically rely on during tornado warnings. I really don't see any negatives to doing away with these. The sirens are designed to be a civil defense system that notifies people who are working outside or those who are outside for a longer period of time to go inside due to a tornado on the ground or there is rotation indicated by a weather radar. If the county decides to remove the weather sirens, they are urging people to take advantage of their website or weather app for weather related notifications. However, the possible removal raises questions when it comes to safety. What if someone is outside without any means of technology? I would say that 99% of the population at probably 95% of the time have their cell phone with them now. We have gotten really accustomed to smart watches, smart phones. What about those who are elderly who may not have broadband and tech savvy phones to download apps? Even flip phones will still get a text message. So um, we still encourage people in their homes to have weather radios because they're going to get the same message from a weather radio that they will from a smartphone or a smartwatch or an application. Some counties like Coffee have their technology system set up to notify citizens who still have landlines. The county wants to ditch weather sirens after spending $16,000 last year to repair some of them. A new siren could cost the county $60,000. The high price in old technology has caused many counties to do away with the sirens. In the wider grass, Dale, Coffee, and Geneva have started eliminating sirens. In Alabama, St. Clair County and Mobile County, and in other states such such as Duluth, Georgia, Ruston, Louisiana, and Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin. All across the industry, you're going to see more and more of the outdoor warning systems going away and moving to more updated technology. Reporting Robert Smith, WDHN News for The Wiregrass.